Spaghetti-O, Giggle Water, and Quilt. You say? No Boulder Dash or Baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. And now, here are Greg, Scott, and Dan coming at you with all the things real men love. Served ice cold and unfiltered. It always makes me giggle a little bit. <laughs> coming at you. Yeah, <laughs> with things that men love. Welcome in, everybody. <laughs> it's the Unfiltered Gentlemen. Oh, man. I hope you're loving us. I'm Greg. Over there, that's Scott. Yo. And that's Dan. Yo. <laughs> He's a certified G and a bona fide stud. <laughs> certified elf. <laughs> Elf? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I always say that. Oh, uh, we just lost the list. Where are the cats at? Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be so mad at you. Right, sorry. Oh, anyways, welcome in the show. we got lots of good stuffs for you. Uh, we have a new beer from our best friend James, who gave us uh, that cream ale a month or so ago. We have a, a game. If we get, if we get time, we're going to play a little game that Scott has provided for us. All right. Oh, got, yeah. some, got some sports talk. Got some crotch talk. Uh, Dan's got a movie that he watched. Ooh. I do. Dan, you are really uh, grinding it on the grindstone. I am, man. Yeah. Wow. I'm putting in the work. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard work. You want to write off those movies, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's for work, everybody. That would be nice. You should try that. Hell yeah. Yeah. Got a little beer news and all kinds of stuff. Before we get any further, uh, let's break it down with the burp word of the week. I figure it's only appropriate. Super Bowl. All right. Hey, there you go. Super Bowl yeah. 51 coming up. <clears throat> oh, man. Let's start burping about it. Hell yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, when I'm not on the show, I burp really loud. <laughs> <laughs> and when I get here, I don't know what it is. Wow, it's just the pressure, huh? Yeah, I yeah, guess so. A little uh, shyness. Or yeah, because yeah. I can barely burp here. Right? I'm gonna try it, man. <laughs> can you piss in a crowd? <laughs> I can. I can piss on a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> this is an R. Kelly concert. <laughs> oh man! The first three rows are the splash zone. <laughs> drip, drip, drip. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No one wants to hear our singing. Uh, all right. Yikes. So Super Bowl is our burp word of the week. Uh, like I said, James, our, our best friend James, has provided us more beer. This time he's provided us two. He gave us a West Coast and an East Coast IPA that he brewed oh, himself. Sh- wow. Because uh, he is my hero. He's. I've been texting him beer advice, like questions with oh, my right. brewing, because he's the fucking man, and I'm like some jabroni over here in the beer world. So I keep texting him all these questions. He's like, oh, just do this. I'm like, oh, yeah. Whoa, no okay. shit. All uh-huh. right. So anyways, before we uh, take any more of your time, let's play this from James so we can start drinking his beer. Cool. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for Beer of the Week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend, and I'll say, I think I'll have myself a beer. Hey, what's up, guys? It's James, back with two new homebrews for you guys to try. Yay. One is a West yeah, Coast buddy. IPA, and the other one is a New England-style IPA, mm. or kind of what's more popular on the East Coast right now. Uh, both of these beers that I made have a ton of hops. The okay. West Coast version has 12 ounces of hops for the 5.5-gallon batch, and the New England version has a whole pound of hops. Ooh, nice. One thing you'll wow. notice about both beers is that neither one of them is overly bitter. I tried to keep the IBUs around 50 and kind of more focus on the flavor and aroma here, and that means kind of using uh, most of the hops towards the end of the boil after flame out and a huge dry hop for both batches. Dry hopping for the New England IPA is totally different than the West Coast version because a lot of the flavor actually comes from the yeast and hop interaction. So that means uh, dry hopping towards the beginning of fermentation and then dry hopping again towards the end of the fermentation. For the West Coast version, I dry hopped only after the fermentation was finished and the yeast was completely out of the way. So for the West Coast version, this one came out to be about 7% ABV. And the hops that I use for this one are Citra, Amarillo, Centennial, Equinox, and Columbus. All right, so tasting notes. Let's see here. This one's pretty clean. Um, I'm getting a lot of tropical fruit, citrus, pineapple, mango, some orange, little pine, some dankness too. Now for the New England IPA, this came out to be about 8%, and the hops that I used for this one were Citra, Mosaic, Amarillo, and Simcoe. All right, so let's see here. 
All right, so I'm getting some citrus, some tropical fruit, a little bit of pine to balance it out. Mm -hmm. But this beer tastes totally different than the other one. I added some wheat and some flaked oats to make this one extra, extra hazy and smooth. All in all, I think I like this one better. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Yes. Which one did, would, was he talking about? The East? East Coast. The, the one like he likes better. better. Oh, yeah, I see. I agree. So uh, he's more of a biggie. Take that. Take guy. that. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So I've got the yeah, uh, East Coast in my hand. So like you were saying, it's tropical, piney, citrusy. Uh, he had a lot of wheat and oats to mm-hmm. uh, smooth it out there. Yeah, because like Puff Daddy says, you got to smooth it out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what P did? He says. Yeah, I'm gonna remember. do right here. We're gonna smooth it out. <laughs> <laughs> he always says that. <laughs> We're used to back in the '90s. Mm-hmm. Where's Mace when you need him? Oh, is Mace like the ladies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Drinking the East Coast. Yeah, mm-hmm. drinking some East Coast there. Definitely get the tropical, almost a. Um, uh, passion fruit esque type of tropicalness to it. It's a little citrus, not a lot. I, I think the West Coast had more citrus, but I'll address that momentarily. All right, yeah. So don't worry, we got plenty of love for Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and Death Row yeah. Records. <laughs> don't get mad over there, Snoop. Yeah, don't you worry, Snoop. <laughs> uh, it's juicy. The East Coast is juicy. Oh, it's juicy it's now. Juicy. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> it was all a dream. Just <laughs> to read Word Up magazine. Yeah, uh, it is. It is good. Um, I want to say it was um, a little piney. The East Coast. East Coast. Um, a little yeah. piney. Yeah, a little East Coast. A little East Coast piney on there. Mm-hmm. I can smell the oats. Right. Yeah, that's what came at me or- yeah. originally, and like it kind of mm-hmm. had like a. Like a uh, dry, smooth finish. Mm-hmm. I thought, like you know, like an aftertaste was little. And it doesn't have that like that dankish smell that the West Coast. Correct. What, dank yeah, hopping. You know, the smell. West Coast is bringing that sticky icky. Yeah. Ooh wee. <laughs> Put it in the air. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to the West Side. Mm-hmm. See what we got here. Yeah, definitely got that dank. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's definitely West Coast dank. Oh, yeah. You got to go with the dank. I smell the tropical fruit more in the West Coast. I do. Yeah. The, I, like like Scott said, the, the, the oats and the pine, I think, stand out on the east. Mm-hmm. And on the west, you got a little fruity. A little fruit. no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got that, 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 right? that, yeah, that citrus aroma. Yeah, the citrus. A little more of it, I think. Mm-hmm. A little danker, a little yeah. hoppier, a little more of that hoppy you know, finish to it. Agreed. Mm. I don't know which one I like better, though. I know. It's, it's hard to pick. It's like Biggie or Tupac. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's true. It's, it's that close. Mm-hmm. They're really good. Yeah, it is. I, I really get uh, the tropical on the West Coast, too. I like that a lot. Yes. You're getting tropical with it. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have a standout favorite yet? Yes. Ooh. No. Uh East. East. Oh, oh man! Yeah, sorry. Yeah, but, I mean, I mean, there. I'm not saying that the West is bad. It's, oh, hey, this sounds I mean, like the Source Awards all of a sudden. <laughs> 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 we love both the East and the West. <laughs> oh man, Dan, any favorites? Ah, man, I, I gotta say, I like the West, and it's not just because I'm being favoritism about it, um, but not just because West Coast is the best coast. Exactly, but um, yeah, I got to dig. I dig that the dank. And the, uh, oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. oh, it's the beginning of the video. Oh, damn it. I was hoping it was the beginning of the song. I'll, I know what you're going to yeah. play. <laughs> I'll pick that up momentarily. Oh, you could have played that or Juicy because you did mention Juicy earlier. Mm-hmm. But I am picking the West Coast. So, I mean, it does make sense. You know, that Snoop Doggy Dog's got to get a jobby job. <laughs> <laughs> This is like the world's longest beginning to a music They video. used to have really long beginnings. I mean, you haven't even got to the dude that has the <coughs> toilet phone yet. Oh, you said to me. Most of it out. <laughs> there it is. All right. Now I can take a nice long sip of this. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. I just think I, I think you want to smoke a joint. 
Mike's not here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I got it. Now, now I'm really digging the West now. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling really bi-coastal. Oh, you're oh, really bi-coastal yeah. with it, huh? You're like Nate Dogg. You're what making it? songs with people on the East That's End right. of the West right. Got the politician okay. there. Yeah, yeah. Nate, Nate Dogg and Warren G about to regulate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, is this the whitest rap session? <laughs> Thankfully, you're here adding a little yeah, bit of color. Yeah, I'm adding a lot of color, actually. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I'm balancing it out. All right, it's very close to me, or for me. Yeah. One more, more sip, and I think I'll have an answer. <laughs> Maybe we should have James send more so we can... Uh, yeah. think, you know what? We might need a keg yeah, or two. We, we a keg need of some more if we can really make a good decision. Yeah, we need right. more hip-hop songs, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've made a decision. Oh, West Coast. Ooh. Yes, West Coast is my favorite, and is is very slim. I think what I, I like both flavors so much, and they were both different. The one thing that won it out for the West Coast, other than Snoop Dogg, mm-hmm. was I think it just goes down a smidge easier. Yeah, I think so too. So, so is that two West Coast to one East Coast? Yep. Yeah, I think so, man. You, you and James in bed together over there. Uh, <laughs> I like it. That was that about going down easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the beer that is, of course. Wait a minute. What did you think? Yeah. So, anyways, all right. Well, thanks to James. Yeah, James. Thanks. Uh, I'll make sure and tag him in all our social media posts. Absolutely. If yeah. you guys have any uh, like brewing questions or or just beer questions, feel free to throw them at him. He's a fucking beer genius when it comes to brewing. Hey. He's got quite the setup. He's uh, he's hooked me up with all kind of knowledge. Burp. I didn't have enough for Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so do check him out. And like I said, I'll tag him on all our social medias. Um, one other thing to mention, unless anybody had anything else to say about James's beer. Hey, any of y'all want to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I was going to do the Suge Knight speech from the source. Yeah. <laughs> <order. laughs> <laughs> I started. I was like, "Any of y'all want?" I was like, "Never mind, never mind." Too soon. <laughs> yeah, too soon. <laughs> Poor Shug, he's in jail. Uh, I'm gonna keep drinking this, but uh, I want to mention. I want to remind all you people: coaster giveaway. If you guys want some craft brewery slash uh, craft brewery magnet up in your craft brew <laughs> pad, <laughs> homie. <laughs> I feel like Conan O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> yes, homie. Yeah, anytime Ice Cube comes on or something like <laughs> yeah. that. Uh, if you guys want any magnets or uh, coasters, we're giving them away, as we've been saying. Uh, it's super easy. All you got to do is give us something we can use on the show. Yep. Could be Tales from Uber. Please. It could be a, <laughs> a good one. If Please. you don't, yeah, I'm yeah. going to just keep telling my boring yeah. ass stories. <laughs> it could be a, uh, a a beer review. You know, you can call our number, 805 53 Eight, I almost said nine. Five, three, eight beer, and you can leave a, a little like video or video audio uh, beer review or mm-hmm. or anything, anything that we can use on the show. Please send it our way, and if we use it on the show, you guys get yourself some coasters and magnets. That there easy. you go. Do not forget. Um, all right, before we get to sports, just real quick, we have a little crotch talk. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. No real grievances. I wanted to mention that uh, I got drunk two weeks in a row with uh, our our very own, not only favorite listener, but uh, contributor, Elvia. Her and, and as we call him, Black Greg. <laughs> Her husband's <laughs> name is Greg, and he's black, and I'm you know, I'm obviously Greg. Yeah. And I, I said I was so excited because all... There we go. Oh, there <laughs> yeah. Go. I was so excited because all my life, you know, not a real popular name, there's never been a need to distinguish. Uh, now, finally. Really? I'm finally white Greg. That's wow. interesting. Yeah, so it's white Greg and black wow. Greg. Hanging Everywhere out I've always been, there's always another Daniel. That's a little more popular. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So are you like Mexican Daniel? <laughs> no, because there's always another Mexican Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> like, motherfucker. <laughs> well, the other one's Daniel. He's Danielle. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That could be. That could be, yeah. yeah. Laker fan Dan, though. That's yeah. how I distinguish yeah, myself. Yeah, that's, is that how you distinguish <laughs> <see laughs> yourself <laughs> now? Not too many Laker fans right now. Yeah, <laughs> no, there isn't. Absolutely. Yeah. Very easily. They could just call you a Laker fan and yeah. out Dan. Oh, man. You got the Kobe kicks on. That's right. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, got the hang out. We went to Institution Ale in Camarillo, California. Uh, been there before, and my, my feeling was always that they were just fine. And nothing special, nothing right home about. I had mm. not been there since they moved to their new location. Right. And so it had been at least six months, if not more, probably more. Uh, they have a couple of beers on tap that are actually really good. I was pleasantly surprised. I think they've upped their game a little bit. Did you try that scary dairy? I did not. I don't think it was oh. there. Uh, I had their brown. I can't remember what the brown's name oh, was. Okay. It was really good. I suggest it uh, if you go. Um, so, yeah, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. I had a sip of someone else's IPA. It was really good. Anybody you know? <laughs> no, just, just they have these big long communal tables. I just <laughs> reached to my right out of a trough. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that was the bathroom. Oh. It's like Dodger Stadium. <laughs> uh, so anyways, if you guys are uh, in and around Camarillo, California, check out Institution. I Before, I would just say they're, eh, now I'm saying they're pretty good. So right. uh, give it a try. And then this week, we got drunk in Westlake. We would hit up Five Threads. We hit up uh. Westlake Brewing. Westlake Brewing finally starting to step up their game. I used to not like them very much, and I realized what it is that's making them better. Uh, Cooper, who used to work at Five Threads, now works at Westlake, oh. and he's like their assistant brewer. So wow. I have a feeling he's involved in making them taste a little better. Because at first it was just weak and tasted kind of like beginner home brewish. You mm-hmm. know, it's like somebody who did some home brew got a budget to open up a brewery, mm-hmm. and now it's actually tasting like a brewery. So it's good stuff. Um, all right, before we, one last thing before we move on to sports, uh, listener Eva, who has not made it to this point in the show because Dan did his elf impression <laughs> or elf impression. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, she's already turned out the show. Mm-hmm. She told me weeks, if not months ago, that she got us a little something for Christmas and that Dan was going to deliver it to us. And, uh, well, he finally did today. Wow. I did it. So I'm thinking we should open up our presents. She sure. told, yeah, if, if Dan knows where his is. I do. Um, she told us to open them, told me to, to have us open them on air. Right there in your chair. Oh, thank you. I'm hoping it's the dildo I've always wanted. <laughs> oh, it's got the shape. <laughs> That's a weird shaped dildo. <laughs> it's kind of shaped for my ass. So oval, yeah. Who wrapped these? A Nazi? <laughs> Someone. This is great pod for everybody else. Yeah, I know. They're so glad Hear- we're hearing, doing this. Uh... <laughs> All right, hold on. What do we have here? Bottle opening cap. Oh, a ca- <laughs> what is it? It's a cap launcher. Oh, cool. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, my God. I You got to be careful because the dog will eat caps probably. But, oh, really? Uh, I don't know. He's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how this works. That works like the uh, the old pizza launcher from the Ninja Turtle exactly. toys. Exactly. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, man, I like this. Oh, I Dang. had one of those. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. I'm going to put, put my eye out. I know that. Oh, oh yeah. man. This is rad. I got to get my shredder dolls. So I can <laughs> get them with it. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, motherfucker. This is not too shabby. This, Thanks, Eva. I yeah, like this. Yeah, I like it, Thank too. you, indeed. Great for parties. Look, it comes with a keychain, too. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just going to oh, keep wow. it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I can carry it everywhere I go. This is great. Is that just your cock? Just... No, it's my... <laughs> My I wish it was that big. Yeah, yeah, I get that question a lot. <laughs> it's usually not that hard. Oh, God. Oh, Thank you, listener, Eva, for uh, the toy will inevitably be shooting at the dog later when we're drunk. <laughs> oh, God. I could use that when I'm Ubering, you know, if oh, I have yeah. a, you know, really uh, passengers. Ooh, yeah. ooh, when the cops pull up and you've been drinking. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. shooting the bottle caps seen. out the window. So what they don't what catch are the odds it? of that? Yeah, yeah exactly. sure you got some bottle caps and just... <laughs> In your dash yeah. somewhere. Keep, yeah, I keep them all yeah. over the car. Yeah, so you you get them out of the window quick. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do ourselves a little sports. Whether it's the Baltimore chop <laughs> or the one-two punch, <laughs> it's time for sports. All oh, right. Super Bowl's coming up. Tom Brady has banned his dad from talking to the media. He talks too much. Well, he started talking shit about Roger Goodell, which I'm on board with Brady's dad at this point. But uh, he was saying that it, it's amazing – that uh, Goodell could get away with everything he got away with in regards to Deflate Gate, all the lies and yeah, all this yeah. other stuff. It was kind of funny. Which he did. Yeah. It was kind of funny. I, I agree. Yeah, I agree with I agree Brady's with his dad. dad. Mr. Mr. Brady. Mr. Brady. Yeah. yeah. To a point. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's well documented that the Patriots are cheaters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially for the Raiders fan over here. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I needed that tuck rule redemption. Yeah, this yeah. Year. He's, yeah. he's still it, bitter about that one game way back in, what, 1990 something? Yeah. Brady's tucking something. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, he banned his dad. I wanted to also talk about the uh, Super Bowl coming up. We got the uh, the Patriots versus the Falcons. <laughs> Who'd have seen that coming? Oh, what the fuck, man? I, know. I thought there was no way the Falcons were going to make it It's like far. that guy, you know, when you throw a party, and you're like, who the fuck invited you to the party? <laughs> yeah. It's the fucking Falcons, man. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do we have any predictions? That, uh, aren't, that aren't insanely obvious? <laughs> yeah. I right. yeah. I mean, yeah, I was going to say Patriots. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. But, but you know what? The, the Falcons might surprise us. Maybe. Because, you know, they're just uh, they're just one of those <laughs> sneaky, explosive teams. And they got Julio Jones and all that. But uh, Matt Ryan, I he's just a choke artist. Yeah. He is uh, a choke artist. Somehow covered it up this year. Yeah. Right. I mean, he's been hot. That's the only thing is, you know, I mean, you, know, you, know, you and, never know. And they got so, they got a lot of weapons. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they got they got a good running game with Devontae Freeman and um, the other dude. Um, they can't think of his name of right now, but they got Julio Jones, they got mm-hmm. Muhammad Sanu, and they got um, 
uh, Taylor Gabriel, the other mm-hmm. wide receiver. I mean, he's got, uh, Matt Ryan's got plenty of weapons, and that's why he's just succeeded so well this year. But the Patriots, they just find a way to take your best weapons away, and they, I don't yeah. understand how they do it. I mean, and that's what Cadell should look into. Yeah, it's like how does how does that defense with I can't name one person on their defense, but they just come up and they beat everybody and they take your weapons away. How yeah, do they yeah. do that? I think this is the magic of Belichick it, because even when it was Brady yeah, out, yeah. Brady it, was out for four games and they right. would, they won three he of still them. Still right? won. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, the cheating aside, he's still a genius. Right. I mean, he t- unless he gets caught cheating again. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what, I, that's yeah. what I'm wondering about. Yeah, is how yeah, they're doing that, that. yeah. No, yeah. What might it's come out weird. after this Super Bowl if they win again? I'm like, right. like, oh yeah. Well, this is what they did this time. Like, like, does anyone know like how many Pro Bowlers they have on defense? Because they just the playoffs come, they turn everybody well, off. Actually, none because they couldn't play. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, yeah. That's true. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, I know what you mean. How yeah. many would they have had? Yeah. Yes. But yeah, I mean, it's we're just you know, we we're talking about this the other day. We're uh, he he just takes guys like the last the last championship game. I, I can't remember the guy's name. He had three touchdowns. I never heard him heard of him all season long. Right. I'm, I'm talking about the Patriots. Chris Hogan. Thank you, Hogan. Brother. Hogan's brother. Brother. Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden, man, he's here. He is scoring touchdowns. You know, yeah. just that's the way Belichick works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's insane. He's old school, and I love it. And uh, you know how they always pay the people. You know. You, Disneyland always pays you when whoever wins the Super Bowl they say oh, I'm going to Disneyland right. mm-hmm. I would love for somebody to pay Brady when they win the Super Bowl he can say hey Goodell want to check my balls now bitch oh <laughs> man I'd pay for that yes we should do like a Kickstarter yeah yeah go fund me or whatever yeah. Yeah. or buy Disneyland yeah <laughs> can you imagine the, mu- the music <laughs> do, 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 do. hey Tom Brady you just won the Super Bowl what are you going to do next hey right, check my balls bitch <laughs> <laughs> Deflate this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be oh, so good. Man. I'm going to Disneyland after you suck my dick. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Too I'm gonna, far. I'm going to ride the Goodell. Yeah. <laughs> after you suck my ha <laughs> ha. Just like, flip it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Here, you can be Tom Brady. I'll, I'll, I'll be oh, the yeah, bleeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tom Brady, you just won. <laughs> what are you going to do now? I'm going to Disneyland after you suck my ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> that was an accurate That's read. A wrap, oh, yeah. man. That was good. That was awesome. Ooh. I've been tired of riding Giselle. I'm going to ride you, Goodell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, suck it. So basically everyone's saying the Patriots are going to win. I think, sounds like, yeah. <laughs> I think that's where we're at. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. ridiculous. That was a long way around that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, we took the long way home. We sure did. Oh, uh, CJ, M- yeah, CJ McCollum and uh, McCollum and Chandler Parsons have been fighting it out oh, God. on on Twitter's. That's because the way these kids do it now, yeah, huh? They kids, don't want to Kermit Washington out on the court anymore. Twitter counts. <laughs> they yeah, Twitter it up. Yeah, they can't handle getting punched. That's right. So the other day, the the Trailblazers <laughs> uh, posted a video of Parsons just airballing a three pointer. <laughs> And their their caption was, to be fair, the NBA three point line is really, really far away from the basket. <laughs> uh Chandler Parsons responded with good luck in the lottery show this year. <laughs> He's on the Grizzlies. Yeah. Uh CJ McCollum of the port or the uh, Trailblazers said, We hit the lottery by not signing oh, you. <laughs> oh, oh, ouch. <laughs> yeah. And then uh Parsons responded, Stop it. Technically, Stop I it. hit the lottery. That's true. Yeah, because he's not on the trailblazers. Yeah, he's on the Grizzlies. Ooh. Well, that and he's That's, getting paid millions of dollars for doing nothing. Yeah. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars to be on the Grizzlies and just yeah. being nothing. Hardly play. Yeah. I yeah, could do he's that. He's been injured the entire yeah. year. I could come out and play 20 games. Right. <laughs> yeah. Earn millions of dollars. I think trailblazers did hit the lottery on that one. Yeah. Yeah, he's done nothing. Uh, speaking of basketball, the Thunders and his canter. <laughs> He's out for a while. What an oh idiot. My God. Yeah, for punching a fucking Beat chair. Shit out of it's a probably chair. like the dumbest injury after Amari so far. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I, one, yeah, that's what I was thinking about when I saw that. Yeah. yeah. The one thing that may actually move it past Amari's status is if you watch the punch, that is the weakest, pussiest <laughs> punch I've ever seen. You broke your hand on that? Yeah. Good Lord. Hey, you tell the chair that. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Chairs over there giggling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that didn't hurt at all. <laughs> yeah. And I, I can't remember. I feel fine. <laughs> I, was Stutter, did Stutter miss any time after he punched the? Extreme? Yeah, he was he, out. He for, yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, he had to have surgery. I no, think. He's a fucking idiot. Yeah, he broke too. his thing, right? I, and it was in, broke his thing. Oh, wasn't shit. it? Oh god. <laughs> He not only punched it, he raped yeah. it. Oh, oh, God. But wasn't it during the postseason when Stoddard yeah, did it? Yeah. Yes, like he did. Yeah. Even dumber That's because yeah. it was in his postseason. They were going to lose anyways. <laughs> well, <laughs> duh. Yeah. Uh, the Clippers are trying to trade for Melo, mm. but uh, PJ, the Zen master, keeps saying, nope, we want a better deal. 
And then Melo, <laughs> who has his big trade clause, no trade clause, says he'd waive it if they wanted to send him to the Celtics. Well, really, why <laughs> the Celtics? I don't know. So because Doc Rivers wants him after he becomes a Celtic. Yeah. He's like, we're not going to take him yet. He didn't play for the Celtics yet. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, he needs to learn the ways. Yeah, doesn't it seem though that I'm not so sure that the Clippers want Melo more than the Knicks want to get rid of him? Because it seemed like oh, the Knicks want to get rid of him. They've been sure. trying. Because the way that bargaining kind of worked out to me, I thought was, oh, we'll give you Melo. And they were like, okay, but we're not giving up any of our, you know, DeAndre Jordan or Blake Griffin or CP3. They, they like, offered up Miho. Yeah, they yeah. put Miho on the table. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of like if someone, hey, you want to trade lunches? It's like, well, what do you got? Yeah. You know what I mean, it's like, I'm not trading any of this. Yeah. It's like, well, I'll take you this cannot trash. have you cannot have my pizza lunchable for your <laughs> shitty <laughs> bologna sandwich. <laughs> exactly. I may so, have done that a time or two. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. It sounds like the Knicks are like, oh, are we going to take a bunch of crumbled up chips for our sandwich? You yeah, no I mean? way. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Mello's, oh, Mello's washed up. He's trash. Surprised the Lakers haven't gone for him. Oh, yeah, my no, God. Oh, my God. God. Yeah. Think they will trade you our whole, all of our young players there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Typical Laker move. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys have heard about this. Well, I know we in this room have, but mm-hmm. uh, w- way back when the Cardinals were uh, caught hacking mm. into the Astros. Mm. Like system and all that. That's right. Yeah, they finally got their investigation back, and um, FBI and Justice Department were investigating the Cardinals, racking the internal database of the Astros. Former Cardinals scouting director Chris Correa was sentenced to 46 months in prison. Holy shit! Uh, that wow. was last. Yeah, for last July, for what amounted to 12 counts of corporate espionage. Monday, uh, Major League Baseball announced it had concluded its investigation into the hacking scandal. The Cardinals have been hit with the following penalties from Commissioner Rob Manfred. Two million dollars paid to the Astros, which must be paid within 30 days. Cardinals' two highest picks of the two, 2017 draft are being awarded to the Astros, and Correa has been placed on the permanently ineligible list. He's banned from baseball. Oh, that's okay. He's in jail, anyways. Yeah. So, but he's on the short list that Pete Rose is still on. Yeah, he's on that same list. Pete Rose. Black he's bold. banned for how long? Ever. <laughs> I mean, forever? Yeah, from baseball. That's a long time. Mm-hmm. As long as Pete Rose. Blackballed, uh, man. Oh. No. Coming to theaters near you. That's right, man. Uh, the Orlando Magic have a little buyer's remorse <laughs> trying to dump Serge Ibaka. I didn't know what the fuck they were doing in the first <laughs> yeah, place. They gave up anything they had for him. It was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And they already had two other big men, and then right. they get Ibaka. And he's done a whole lot of nothing. He's trash. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, billionaire casino owner Sheldon Adelson <laughs> has withdrawn his funding for the Raiders to Oops. move to Las Vegas. Hey, wow, Oakland's got a they got a big check to cash now because mm-hmm. they were saying, "Oh well, you guys are going to leave. We'll, we'll sign. You know, we'll make the stadium that we had. You know, twenty years to build. <laughs> we'll finally build it." Well, do you think the uh, the owners are going to step through and, and fund the move to Vegas? Or? It sounds too good. I think too many people are going to like come in and try to save the day because Oakland they're they're not going to do anything. I don't think it's ridiculous. It's you think they'll stay? Yeah, I yeah. think it's kind of like like a marriage and like you know when they're ready to leave, <laughs> you're like, oh well, he, here's all these flowers. Right. Like, it's it's yeah, too late. Yeah. It's too late. I needed twenty years of flowers. Yeah, bitch. no kidding. It's over. Uh, well, on the heels of this announcement. The A's, the Oakland A's baseball team, (laughs) if you haven't heard of them, uh, are going to announce this year their plans and timeline for a new stadium to be built in Oakland. Oh, wow. wow. So the Raiders are getting a new stadium, too, then? Mm, They say it's for them. Oh, wow. (laughs) Just for them. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck but the Raiders, who almost, who I guess did go to the playoffs. Yeah, they did. versus the A's, who suck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let's build the A's a new stadium. Isn't that weird? It's crazy. That's ridiculous. My guess, it was like, well, the Raiders are leaving, so fuck them. We're gonna build you guys a new yeah, stadium. We'll show the Raiders, yeah, you know, just like show a case in your new girlfriend when you break up with another. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. As long as she's hotter than your old one. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't work out. She's too not. Well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to the hire a prostitute are, to pretend. The yeah. A's are pretty homely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least uh, get rid of those glasses and oh, start working man. out that's right all right that's uh that's it for sports By the way, today is the uh anniversary of when magic johnson made his first comeback is it yeah really yeah. january what? 20 what's today 30th 30th january 30th wow. 19 whatever when he mm-hmm. played the warriors did they play the warriors yeah when he wow. does that fake pass and Spreewell fell for it <laughs> <laughs> remember I don't remember that, but I just, like, I just like remember what he made. His, the one play he made. What he played for like two months. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that retiring. embarrassment led to Spreewell's downfall and he eventually choked his coach. I think so. <laughs> I think his cornrows started growing right then and there. And <laughs> all downhill. It's all downhill. He scored 19 points. Oh, yeah? I do, I do remember that. 
Isn't that yeah. crazy? Yeah. He looked like Rec League Magic Johnson, too, <laughs> man. He was all big and everything. Go he he was, man. He, he was, did put on a few pounds. Yeah. He was no longer a guard. 19 sure. points, so that's nothing to sneeze yeah, not at. bad, yeah. Not bad for a first for game. Having, back, and you know. in suffering from the HIV. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. right. That'll slow you down a step. I think that's the most points a HIV sufferer ever scored. <laughs> In a basketball game. Yeah. yeah. In, a, in a professional <laughs> basketball game as a Laker. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're going to hell. <laughs> uh, before we finish up our sports, Elvia has a new uh, sports trivia oh, segment for it. And it's just in time for the Super Bowl. Right on. Hey, guys. It's Elvia. I'm back. And with She's Super Bowl back. 51 just around the corner, I thought it'd be appropriate to discuss the Tom Brady, Joe Montana, best ever quarterback debate. And just for the record, I hate talking about Tom Brady. Brady Not only fans. because I just like him, but yeah. I just like him. That's it. I hate him. Him and the Patriots, actually. And I know it's been 15 years since the tuck roll, but it still hurts. And <laughs> it still I hurts. I think I need therapy. But anyways, still <laughs> let's first start with the obvious. If Brady wins next week, he will have five Super Bowl rings. Enough for him to wear them all in one hand. That will be more rings than any quarterback ever. And, you know, one more than Joe Montana. Mm. And while Brady has been to seven Super Bowls, three more than Montana, Montana has never lost a Super Bowl going on a perfect 4-0 to record. They both were named Super Bowl MVPs three times as well. Thus, you know, a victory for Brady on February 5th would put him past Montana for the most Super Bowl victories by a quarterback. So that's pretty impressive. But I think that if we want to compare them and figure out, you know, which was the best one, we'll have to look at their regular season stats. Obviously, with the caveat that the game has changed so much from the 80s to now. So Brady's numbers are far superior than Montana. Um, mm. Just to give you a few examples, he has thrown for over 4,000 yards in seven seasons, totaling at, at least 25 touchdowns passes in 10 different years. On the other hand, Montana has never surpassed the 4,000 yard mark, only throwing 25 touchdowns or more six times. Brady has made the fewer mistakes, averaging an interception on 2% of his passes, while Montana was picked off on 2.6% of his throws. But even when, you know, you factor in the eras in which they played, Brady's numbers are at least as good as Montana's. He led the league in passing yards twice, something Montana never did. He also never threw cheated. the most touchdown passes mm. three times, and Montana led the NFL in that category twice. Balls um, and when it comes to mm. the playoffs, uh, both wife, quarterbacks have experienced a lot of playoff success, but Brady has a better record in the playoffs, and undoubtedly, I think he will end his career with more playoff wins than yeah. any quarterbacks, going 21-8 and eight after the 2014 season. Um, but you also have to give some credit to Montana, and you know, his terrific playoff numbers are the biggest reason for his four Super Bowl rings. His career playoff passer ratings was 95.6, which was better than what he achieved in the regular season, which was a 92.3. You know, Watch. the other things that we also have to think about is, you know, Brady's four touchdowns against the Seahawks gave him his 13th career Super Bowl touchdown, surpassing Montana's record of 11 scores. However, uh, Joe needed two fewer games to do so. And his 127.3 Super Bowl passer rating makes him the best big game quarterback in NFL history. In his mm. six Super Bowls, Brady doesn't rank in that top 10. He doesn't even rank in a top 10 in that category. So there's there's some differences there. But I think ultimately quarterbacks are judged on how often they win and how many big games mm. they win. So no quarterback, even Montana, has won as consistently as Brady over such a long period. So I'm not ready to say that Brady is the best ever quarterback because I just won't say that. That would taste like vinegar in my mouth. But I think he's a good football player that, you know, learns how to manipulate the system and cheat. So yes. with that said, um, I'm going for the Falcons. I don't really care Ooh. for Tom Brady, but he is a good player. So that's it for that. Let me know what you guys think. Bye. Montana's the best. That's what Jim I think. Plunkett. No, no question. That's right. I don't think he was on the table. <laughs> it's Montana. But he did win a Super Bowl. Okay. All right. Were his balls flat? 
Mm, not that I know of. That was no. kind of like my idea too for comparing eras. Like you know, like there was a big talk about um, Manning versus Brady for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And um, I kind of thought you know an easy answer to that question is well, who would you rather have? Would you rather have Dan Marino or would you rather have Joe Montana? Because to me, those two, Joe Cool. Yeah, you know what I mean. But it's like those two were kind of comparable in the sense that uh, during the regular season, Marino was tearing it up. But right. when you needed an actual game to win, to win, you right. know. That was Joe Montana's yeah. shit. He was not going to lose that shit. So mm-hmm. it's yeah. kind of like Tom Brady it's, too. He's like you know he, you know now you know everybody all quarterbacks numbers are inflated. You know like you like they said you know Montana never reached you know this this many yards right. or that many touchdowns. But that doesn't mean he was a bad quarterback. You know it's just a different different era. Now everybody hits those plateaus like four thousand yards. What's that anymore? You know right. what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy. But you know I think that's what it is. Is you know. Brady's that guy who's going to win it, and Manning's the guy that gets you all the numbers. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a different era, different style of game. Montana mm-hmm. was with the West Coast offense. It's you know the short 10, 15 right. yard passes, you know, get mm-hmm. out of bounds kind of thing. Uh, but you know, I mean, give both of them their dues. I mean, Brady, you know, when it's crunch time, he did you know what he had to do. And same right. with Montana yeah, took that air out. Yeah, did he, what he t- had to do. He inflated his balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now he's a cheater again, huh? <laughs> We're talking Raiders. Eh? He was just beating everybody. And yeah, now he's a cheater. Don't mess with Montana. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, good point. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah. Very good. Uh, if you guys want to uh, follow Elvia, Instagram at neverguilty187. She's a lawyer. That's why. The- no. uh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good. I may have to give her a call. Yeah, he, <laughs> I need to keep she her on. Keep her on retainer. Did she give us discounts? Uh, yeah. yeah, she charged you double. Oh. <laughs> uh, Old timey word of the week, real quick. Handcuff. Handcuff. It's an engagement ring. Well, oh, oh. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It is. Slap on the old handcuff. There you go. Handcuff your hose. <laughs> <laughs> Still on that uh, West Coast, East Coast thing right now. Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> uh, hose up, pimp st- Nope. Pimps up, hose down. I don't know. Sounds like happens. something that a hoe would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. Somebody I'd like to put some handcuffs on. <laughs> Not in a ring, though. Just handcuffs. <laughs> don't stand up too quickly. It's chick of the day. Her name is Sylvia. You can find her on Instagram at craftylady24 underscore seven. Very classy. She's a classy. With the goblet. Yeah. Talking about the beer, right? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, A couple of goblets. Yeah. (laughs) Wait a minute. Uh, Gobble. Uh (laughs) Craftylady24 underscore seven on Instagram. Sylvia, she like Ooh. Ooh. She likes herself some tasty craft beers. Just looking at her made me do that. Yeah. <laughs> made you pop that can. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I can understand. Uh, so do check her out. Give her a follow. Tell you heard about her here on the show. All right. Dan's been hard. Oh, that was a quick fade out. Yeah. Dan's been hard at work watching more movies for us. Have you seen the latest moving picture? Let's talk movies for guys. That's right. Yeah, so I'm hard at work there watching all these movies. This is the latest one that's uh from the, you know, Marvel universe. Mm-hmm. It's uh Doctor Strange. And uh this one is um this one's set for Blu-ray actually at the end of February, I believe is okay. when it's going to release. So um but uh basically this is a movie about a um like a real doctor, Doctor Strange. And um he uh He's a really good neurosurgeon. Uh, this movie, you know, builds him up like he's like the best neurosurgeon like ever, I guess. And um, but unfortunately, he he's <laughs> he gets in a car accident. It's kind of messed up the way it happens. Like he's um he's trying to look for new patients, basically like you know real difficult patients. And uh, he's looking at his, his his like phone on his car while he's driving and switching lanes into the wrong lane. Uh-oh. Oh, smart! And it's like yeah, and it looks like it's on the PCH too of all places oh, to be doing man. something like that. I'm like, god damn, dude, keep your eys on the yeah. roads. Didn't let- you lose from, or didn't you learn from Bruce Jenner? <laughs> yeah. yeah, good public service announcement. Don't text and drive. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can end up like Daredevil. He's lucky he's just <laughs> Doctor Strange now. <laughs> but anyways, um, he crashes and um. He wakes up. Thank God he's alive. But um, his uh, hands are casted and they're put up in pins and, you know, they're raised and everything. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, that's not good if you're a neurosurgeon. You know, you need your hands to be nice and steady and they're, they're all shaky. Uh, he starts doing these rehabilitation and um, they're telling him it's hopeless. Like, he's never going to get his hands back. Uh, but he hears about this uh, guy who uh, gets surgery on his legs 
And uh, they told him he'd never walk again. And he finds the guy and he's playing pickup basketball somewhere. He's like, well, where'd you learn to do this? And he tells him, you know, you need to go, you know, look for this place and they'll, they'll, they need to guide you spiritually. It's, an, it's, not, it's not medicine. You need to forget everything you've known. Hmm. You know, and he's, you know, a neurosurgeon. He thinks he knows it all. Right. He goes out there. He finds them. Um, he speaks to the ancient one. And uh, that's played by uh, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Should be, <laughs> but uh, no, this isn't Wolf Cop. Oh, uh, <laughs> Otherwise, the ancient one would be, yeah, yeah. Scott. But no, this was um, Tilda Swinton plays that, and oh. I should say Doctor Strange is played by uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Mm-hmm. Um, the most British name ever. Right. <laughs> you know what's funny about this movie, too? There's also a guy named uh, Benedict Wong in here. Oh, I got to say, oh. this is the most Benedicts in one yeah. movie ever. But anyways. And Wongs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> could be. <laughs> But uh, he finds uh, Tilda Swinton, the ancient one, and uh, she's telling him that you know he's he's got to forget everything he knows. And um, there's uh, I brought the clip mm-hmm. where he he meets her for the first time, and he kind of she she drops all this knowledge on him that you know he doesn't know anything. I spent my last dollar getting here. Well, my ticket, and you're talking to me about healing through belief. You're a man looking at the world through a keyhole. <sighs> you spent your whole life trying to widen that keyhole. To see more, to know more. And now, on hearing that it can be widened in ways you can't imagine, you reject the possibility. No, I reject it because I do not believe in fairy tales about chakras or energy or the power of belief. There is no such thing as spirit. We are made of matter and nothing more. You're just another tiny, momentary speck within an indifferent universe. You think too little of yourself. Oh, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. But I see through you. Punches his soul right out of his body. Oh, man. <laughs> Speaking of Kermit Washington. <laughs> oh, I think that's a Rudy T song. <laughs> what did you just do to me? I pushed your astral form out of your physical oh, form. What's in that oh, tea? Hey. Psilocybin? LSD? It's just tea. With a little honey. <laughs> ah. Yeah, so there's nothing in the tea. She just showed him something new. And um, being that, you know, th- he's got this powerful mind that he's used, you know, to become a neurosurgeon. Now she's giving him the keys to this whole nother, you know, thing for him to learn for, through spirituality. And uh, that's what makes this, uh, this hero a lot more interesting, too, um, is that he's able to kind of battle like people threatening like dimensions and like other dimensions. And, you know, uh, whereas the, the Avengers... They're more of like the physical presence of like uh, opposition, like you know they're battling saving the world. This guy's saving, you know, the the the, the other dimensions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So that's what makes this cool. Um, and you always know that uh, Marvel's up. They, they've got you know they got a bigger plan for all these movies, right? You know, and uh, w- what's what I'm kind of excited to see it would be you know the vanity and everything of Doctor Strange, where he thinks he knows everything. I would like to see when he meets up with with Iron Man. Played by, you know, Robert Downey Jr. Yes. And they're both, you know, I can imagine them kind of bumping heads and everything. That should be pretty funny. Um, the end of the movie, um, I'm not going to spoil the end end, but we all know he doesn't die, obviously. Wait a whoa. minute. Oh. <laughs> Spoilies. So, <laughs> Hashtag. Yeah. But uh, there is a scene at the end with uh, Thor that you, sh- you need to stick around for. Because ah. um, he offers Thor a drink and he's like, I don't drink this shit. He's like, oh, gives him a big old thing of beer. <laughs> nice. Thor puts it down in like 10 seconds and it My fills man. right back up. I'm like, oh, Doctor wow. Strange, yeah, he's got to be probably the second best hero right next to Wolf, Ho- Wolf Cop, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if he's able to just fill up a beer like that. Ooh, could you imagine them together? Oh, oh my God. Oh, That's yeah. what I want to see. That's what we need. That's what I want to see. I want that part. Yeah. <laughs> Wolf Cop. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, then, or Thor. <laughs> so this movie has a lot of nice visual effects. Um, you know, it, it's it's really uh really psychedelic in the sense that you know it has a lot of you know um out, you know a lot of the battling is not happening, you know, in our dimension. It's happening like outside, like spiritually and stuff like that. So I don't know of a way to really ex- describe it other than this is probably our generations of two thousand one Space Odyssey in the sense mm-hmm. that oh, did you watch that movie? It's like, oh no. yeah yeah I saw it. it's like but did you watch it? on weed <laughs> some kinds of shit happening man so that, that, that's i can imagine that's yet another way to probably watch it because i mean it is it is a trip so um yeah definitely nice. go out and watch that that was just killer very nice i have not seen it mm-hmm. maybe when it hits the blu-ray at the end of february there you go very nice 
Uh, very quickly, before we get to the game, there's a couple of news items. The game? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Never. Extra, extra, fellas. It's news for you. So the Super Bowl, uh, just around the corner here, stores in Georgia are refusing to sell Sam Adams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I heard yeah. about that. Uh, one store put up a sign that says, we will not be selling Sam Adams until after the Super Bowl. Hashtag rise up. Um, and then the stores in Boston are refusing to sell Pabst Blue Ribbon. Right. Yeah. Came back. <laughs> what a loss. Yeah. yeah. No kidding, right? <laughs> Sam Adams uh, responded by tweeting, won't be their only loss. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Don't blame beer. Don't bring beer into this. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. man. Put your issues aside. That's right. I don't care how bad the Celtics ever beat the Lakers. I never turned down to Sam Adams. Yeah, Sam Adams. Yeah. <laughs> Especially seasonal. Yeah, right. Uh, Sam Adams went on to tweet, and don't worry, Atlanta. We're still drinking Coca-Cola. Ooh. No. Mm-hmm. 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 Cardi and Cola. Yes. <laughs> uh, Get there, up. <laughs> there was a story in Men's Health at uh, menshealth.com about th- it's called the 30 female beer lovers you must follow on Instagram. Uh, I'll post this up on our social media so you guys to find, but uh, I just thought I'd bring it up because about half of them have been or are soon to be <laughs> beer babes of the week for us. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you yeah, for le- putting them all in one place for us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I'd say at least half of these have, have been uh, talked about on our show or, or in one way or another. Oh, so, right on. Look at that. So uh, <laughs> we're ahead of the trend, but yeah. thanks for picking up on us, Men's Health. Uh, but it was very cool to see uh, see the the girls get recognized. It's cool, you know. They they talk about beer, and and beer is not just a guy's world anymore. And and uh, when the good looking ladies are talking about it, I yeah. listen. Oh yeah. yeah. So uh, good article on men's health. Like I said, I'll post it up for you guys to check out. Um, and then real quickly before we get to our game, Sierra Nevada is having a, a bit of a recall issue. Glass is breaking off into their bottles. <gasps> in certain uh, bottles. Oh, no. So if you've bought a pack of Sierra Nevada between uh, like <laughs> December 5th and now, you should check out their website. You're talking see. about when they won all those awards for yeah. being like crap beer <laughs> of the year and all that crap? Yeah, so December 5th of uh, 2016 and now, certain cases and and uh, different uh, flavors have been a part of this. I'm not so. blaming beer. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just saying. So is there like free beer involved? or right. that, that I don't know about, but do mm. uh, do check out their website to see if you're a part of this recall. I, I probably am. Mm-hmm. Sure I am now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just became part of it. Yeah. I'm going to call Elvia to be my attorney <laughs> oh, on this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like where you're going with that. There you go. Uh, all right. Scott's got a game with us before we close out the show. Yay. Why, yes, I do. What do you got? Um, what I got here is since we're getting into the WrestleMania uh, season. Mm-hmm. Royal Rumble is behind us. Royal Rumble. We just finished the Royal Rumble. We're getting ready. To, it, they call this the WrestleMania season. So mm-hmm. I, I, my game is, is this a, a wrestling the finish? The game. Uh, is this a wrestling <laughs> finish or is this a sex position? Ooh. Mm-hmm. So right. I, I don't know if, if you guys just want to call out. Do you want me to keep score? I mean, just. I, I don't, what do you want? Do you want to say a name or you want to call it out and keep, you know. I say it? it's more competitive when we call out. Okay. First one to call it out? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. Like, so, like the so most if it's games. so if it's a finisher, do we have to identify the the wrestler, or do we just say it's a just finisher? Say finisher? Ooh, get extra I mean, points. You, sure, get a half point. Half, 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 uh, half extra point. Half okay. a chub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm already there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, here we go. All right. Um, raise the roof. Dan. Dan. Wrestling move? Ah, it's a sex position. Is it really? It is. <laughs> oh man! And don't ask me to. I don't know anything about sex positions because I can't I'm remember trying the last to imagine. time I had sex. Right. I yeah. Anyway. Boyfriend's not that nice. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> yeah. he's kind of <laughs> a little upset with me. Uh, a bow dog. Greg, sex position? Yeah, that's a wrestling finisher. Who? That's a place where you can know. go gamble, oh. apparently, wasn't it? <laughs> Bodog.com? <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're, we're 0 for 2. 0 for 2. Terrible at sex uh, and wrestling, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> two things I, prou- I prided myself on. Very closely resembled. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I I love having sex during wrestling. Just <laughs> my wrist gets sore. Um, <laughs> magician's Wand. Greg, that's got to be a sex move. There you go. All, All right. right. There we go. Now we're, now we're rolling. I was trying yeah. to think of like magician wrestlers. <laughs> like, was there ever one? <laughs> Not that I can think of. I'm sure some indie wrestler. Right. Probably. Mm. And some of these are indie wrestlers. Uh, 
finishing moves mm. just to make it more you know challenging. Damn right. You. Um, the eye opener. Damn. <laughs> That's a sex position. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's see. what I call when I pull my pants down. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta look really eyes. close. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the big ending, Greg. That's a that's a wrestling movie. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right, that's Big E. Oh, good oh, job. Man. Who's it really? He even knows who did it. That's good. Oh, man. I mean, that's I a half point. Yeah. Oh, uh, point. A gory bomb. Damn. Oh. oh well. I think that was you. Yay. Uh, wrestling move? Yes. Okay. That's somebody from ECW. I can't think of who it was. Listeners write in. Yes. Rhino? Help us out. No. no. I wonder if he like, was a... He's just a gore. Yeah, gore. Gore! Right. Um, skull crushing finale. Greg. <laughs> That's the Miz's finisher. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Sex move? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man. Uh, let's see. Uh, the magic touch. Dan. Sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we're getting all the sex music yeah. and all the rest. <laughs> Put us together. <laughs> we're we're quite the dude. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, sure. The the clinch mob. The Dan. Clinch mob. Wrestling. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's sex. That's sex. The clinch mob. Clinch mob. Damn. Mm. Uh, let's see, I think it's one, I two have... more. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, the punt. <laughs> Greg, sex. No, that's wrestling. Oh, uh, whose is that? I don't know. Oh, the Unless punt. I, I guess I should have wrote down who did it. Uh, but I didn't. Oh well. Unless it's Randy Orton's head punt, but he doesn't do that anymore. Yeah. He the punt. I mean, I don't know. That's gay to know all that. And finally. The magic touch. Damn, that was you already said that. Did you I already say that? Oh, then yeah. that's it then. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, hold on. Now we have a tie. Oh, wait, no. Wait, wait, I win by half a point. Half a point. Half oh, that's point. right. You <laughs> named the right. You named the. Who did it? I got the Miz. Good job. Yeah. Oh, oh, I actually get two half points because I said the Miz also. Oh, you did. That's yeah, right. You so I win by a full, full point. point. Full point. All oh, and right. then I have a bonus, even though we don't need it. Yeah, you <laughs> because I just heard this the other day. Is since it's uh, Super Bowl time, name the only player. Who has won a Heisman and MVP in the NFL? Desmond Howard. Nope. MVP for the season or for the Super Bowl? For the season. Ah, mm. shit. Regular season. Okay, because Desmond Howard did win the Super Bowl MVP, I believe. But Tim Tebow. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me think. Regular season? He was in the Super Bowl last year, but lost. Ooh. And Cam so- Newton? Yeah. Oh. Uh, that was that was a Man, that's funny. You'd think that would be an easy one, but... You'd think so, yeah. Because yeah. when they said the answer, I was like, oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right. Which is, you know, I hear I mean, that It makes lot. sense, but yeah, that's a trip. Yeah. Interesting. Well, good game. Hey. Good uh, game, guys. Glad I don't know any yeah. of my sex moves. <laughs> it's uh, depressing. No, you're wrestlers, though. Yeah. At least I know something. Big E. The only sex move I know is the jerk, so... <laughs> the, I know the Big E wiggle. <laughs> 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 you can tell my girlfriend later how good I was at the wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be so proud. Oh, man. Oh, God. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. Thanks a bunch for telling a friend. We uh, do appreciate it. Don't forget to give us a little rating and review on iTunes or whatever podcast app you're listening to us on. Next week, we will be back with The Beer Girl and so much more. All right. So check us out, theunfilteredgentleman.com, facebook.com slash unfilteredgentleman, Instagram, theunfilteredgentleman. Uh, Twitter, at Unfiltered Gents. And uh, don't forget to call in or text whatever you'd like to do there. 805-538-BEER. That's it for us. On that note, good night, everybody. Let's pee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>